Trevor Lawrence's NFL career, but is predicted by Madden Franchise Mode. As today, obviously, in Madden 21 Franchise Mode, we're going to simulate Trevor Lawrence's career and see how Madden 21 Franchise Mode thinks Trevor Lawrence's career is going to go. These videos are going to be so much more simple to make now that there's like career history in Franchise Mode now. There's league history, stuff like that. So we're really in-depth going to see for the first time ever how EA Sports predicts somebody's NFL career to go. Now, I did give Trevor Lawrence the overall I think he's going to have at an 80 overall also gave him superstar ability I think that's what he's gonna have I don't think he's gonna have X factor just yet but he's definitely the best quarterback prospect since Andrew Luck so I think he definitely gets that 80 rated if not a little bit more and I think at the beginning for sure he has superstar development trait but hopefully you guys do enjoy today's Madden experiment and if you do make sure to smash a huge thumbs up if we can get like 10k likes on today's episode I'll do this for the other rookie quarterbacks Mac Jones Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, all those guys. If we hit 10K likes on today's episode, the first episode of this mini series, I'll make sure I do a career simulation for each and every big time first round prospect from last NFL draft. Also guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're trying to hit a million subs by the end of the year, so make sure to take that millisecond that does take to click that subscription button if you haven't. Also, we are doing another next gen console giveaway. Once we do hit 50K followers on both Twitter, and on Instagram, two separate consoles being given away for each of the two platforms. So go make sure to follow me if you haven't. There is a link to my Instagram and Twitter in the description box below. Now, as mentioned, comes into the 80 overall superstar development. And that's the closest you really get to Trevor Lawrence's face in Madden 21 franchise mode. He has 95 throw power, 85 deep accuracy, 81 medium, 84 short, 86 awareness, 80 throw on the run. 78 play action, 76 under pressure, 79 break sack. Give him 85 speed, 85 excel, and some other mediocre stats. I mean, I think 80 overall is decent, but I do want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think Trevor Lawrence's overall is going to be at the start of Madden 22. I think 80 is going to be about solid. Now, I'm going to let the Jaguars control everything. Everything's on auto. Contract negotiations, scouting, the NFL draft, free agency, trades, that kind of stuff. So it's really all up to Trevor Lawrence how his career is going to freaking go. So with that said, for starters, we're just going to sim the first season. And then after we see how his rookie year goes, we'll sim 10 years into the future and see how the last 10 years of his career went. Then after that, maybe sim a few more years to end off the video. Well, obviously, it looks like the Jags didn't make the playoffs in Trevor Lawrence's first season. But how many wins do they actually get? They got six. They got double the amount of wins of the Indianapolis Colts. My Tennessee Titans won the division now with Julio Jones. Big question is, how did Lawrence do his rookie season? I mean, that's not bad at all. 3,500 yards, 37 touchdowns, 8 picks is not bad. He probably for sure won Rookie of the Year. Now, James Robinson only had 2 touchdowns. That's insane. You know, he had the other first-round draft pick right here, Trevor Lawrence's former teammate out of Clemson. I mean, he was okay, but how did James Robinson only have 2 touchdowns? Catching the football, DJ Chart, Marvin Jones had decent seasons. Now, he had to have won Rookie of the Year, right? So, Aaron Rodgers wins the MVP again. Zach Wilson was in the top 10. So, was Justin Fields. Trevor Lawrence actually came in the top 10 of the MVP race. But I also think that means he's not going to win Rookie of the Year. Yeah, it's going to go to Zach Wilson. Well, so that might make for an interesting video if this does get to 10,000 likes if we simulate Zach Wilson's career. Oh, man, what if this really happens next year? The Patriots versus Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. This would be a freaking Super Bowl for the history books. Let's see if Mad thinks wins next year's Super Bowl. And that is going to go to none other than Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. He would have to end his career there, man. Like, imagine dude just really happens but with that said time to simulate 10 seasons into the future i'll see you guys in five seconds for me it'll probably be like 15 minutes it seemed like an hour but finally we're here in the year 2030 most important thing we have to see is trevor lord still on the jaguars 10 seasons in or i guess 11 seasons in technically at this point so if we go to roster, it looks like Trevor Lawrence is still a Jacksonville Jaguar. 98 overall, so he's almost had a perfect career up to this point. 31 years of age. He still only has superstar development, which is really weird. He has quick draw and tight out. I was wondering, did he ever have over superstar development? I was wondering if he had superstar X-Factor, but it doesn't look like he ever had superstar X-Factor. 98 throw power, those stats are absolutely insane. Wonder why his deep accuracy is better than his short accuracy. It seems really strange. His throw of the run is still kind of low, and so is his play action, but I mean, he's a 98 rated quarterback at this point. And now, this is where things get so, so interesting, dudes. Now, with the new additions in a Madden 21 franchise over the past few months, since Christmas, I guess that is, we now can go to stats and contracts and look at his entire career 
So if we start down 2021, he did a little bit better. He hasn't thrown, he's only thrown for over 4,000 yards once in his career. It looks like he's genuinely had just a decent career, but is it the fact that he's been on a bad team? Because he's never thrown for more than, what, 37 touchdowns? He threw the most touchdowns his entire career in his first rookie season. That was one of his better seasons. He had a good last few years. He had an almost a 100 quarterback rating, a 99 quarterback rating, but that was his best two seasons since his rookie year. So he's been good from the beginning, but just nothing way too spectacular. Once again, you just don't know if it's the case, whether or not he's just been a good player on a bad team. And maybe that's why his stats aren't absolutely crazy. If we go down to awards, I don't think he's made the Pro Bowl once. If he's made the Pro Bowl or won MVP or anything, it would be right here. But he's just been, I guess, a good team player because he hasn't made the Pro Bowl, hasn't won an MVP, has not won any awards throughout his career, which is absolutely insane, my dudes. Now, if we do go down, I, want, about, I guess we go ahead and check his rushing stats. Like, why not? I mean, we're trying to look at everything possible. Now, rushing stats. He's had about 200 yards every single season. He had one year where he had four rushing touchdowns. But about three rushing touchdowns a season. So he's been good for about, what, 35 touchdowns a season. And his interceptions are a little high, but we've seen much worse from other quarterbacks like Jameis Winston, you know. But nothing too insane. I mean, his career's not over yet. He's still at 90 overall, only 31 years of age. But this is where things get interesting, too. We go into league history. We can see what's happened every single season. So in 2021, which is the first year you guys haven't seen, it looks like the Browns won the Super Bowl. And Tom Brady, once again, he wasn't even done. He was still one offensive player of the year, once again. Now in 2022, the Jets win the Super Bowl against the Packers. Zach Wilson won himself a Super Bowl MVP. Still no accolades, as there won't be any accolades for Trevor Lawrence. Baker Mayfield won the MVP. 2023, the Bucks win it again. I don't know if... Tom Brady was on the Bucks here because he had no accolades here, but the Bucks won another Super Bowl over the Browns this time around. Zach Wilson won the MVP in 2024. The Patriots finally get another Super Bowl win. Super Bowl MVP is Mac Jones. So the other quarterbacks that was drafted high in his last NFL draft have been pretty successful careers, but Trevor Lawrence, I guess, just stuck on a bad team. In 2025, the Ravens beat the Saints, so Lamar Jackson finally gets himself a ring. Moving on to next season, the Falcons beat the Bengals, so it does look like Joe Burrow also made a Super Bowl. The MVP has gone to Zach Wilson multiple seasons. The Ravens get another Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson gets his second, so he's had a successful career. I mean, he's won more Super Bowls now than Patrick Mahomes. In 2028, you have the Seattle Seahawks beating the Bills 31-28. 2029, you have the Dolphins win the Super Bowl. They have Trevor's former teammate, Travis Etienne, on the Dolphins, he won Super Bowl MVP, so now his former college and NFL teammates are winning like Super Bowls, but he's not won anything. And that's what we've got to so far. So nothing crazy for Trevor Lawrence's career. I mean, he's a 98 rated, so like you can't call him a bust. He just hasn't been able to accomplish anything with whatever the Jags have given him. So how many more years does he have left on his contract? Oh, so this is actually his last year on this contract. Okay, he had a huge deal. He had a $103 million contract. He's making $22.5 million this season. But I'm interested to see, though, does Trevor get signed elsewhere? I think we're going to see if Trevor Lawrence stays with the Jags or goes elsewhere. And then I think we're going to see him 10 more seasons. Once again, the year 2030, I mean, they went 3-13. and 13. They're just not a good team around Trevor Lawrence. I mean, he had about, you know, actually his worst season yet. Only 17 touchdowns? What happened? For the same amount of yardage. His team is just not good. Bob Aiken, at least got 15 touchdowns on the ground, but averaged 3.1 yards per carry. Catching the football. I mean, they still have LaVisca Chenault has been there his entire career. But you got this guy, Nate Bayer, who is a 69 rated as their best receiver. So they've just not done a good job giving Trevor Lawrence weapons to throw to. And I'm interested to see if they even re-sign him. Here it is, dudes. The moment of truth. We go into roster, see if Trevor Lawrence is still here. And he is now a 97 overall, 32 years of age. Starting to regress a little bit. 
still a superstar in his ratings. I mean, he's down with 97, still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's the sixth highest rated quarterback in the entire league at 32 years of age. So I guess it's still prime time for a quarterback. But I am interested, how long of a contract did he actually sign? How long is he going to remain in Jacksonville? Because obviously he's happy to stay there, even though they've sucked his entire career. So his new contract is only a three-year deal worth $70 million. So he'll be there until he's 35 years of age. So that's going to be interesting. I think what we're going to do from here is just go ahead and sim another 10 seasons. He'll probably be retired at that point, but we'll be able to see if he won a Super Bowl or not. Stop this sim just a little early at the end of the 2036 season because I wanted to try to catch it before he retired. I'm not sure he can maybe play for another 10 years. Who knows? But as of right now, the contract that you just saw him sign would have ended. So is Trevor Lawrence still as like a 36-year-old, a member of the Jags? And he is not for the first time. They've moved on to Donald Maynard. Now, where the heck has Trevor Lawrence ended up to end off his career? I mean, for all we know, he could have bounced around multiple teams. And that's what we're going to check out. Zach Wilson still playing at 38 years of age, 92 overall. Where is Trevor Lawrence at? There he is, 38 years of age. For the LA Chargers, apparently has relieved Justin Herbert of his duties. He's still 85 overall. That's not bad for a 38-year-old. He now has Superstar X Factor, which is insane. How did he never get it before when he was like a 98, 99 overall, but now he's at 85 and now has High Low Dead Eye? That's a weird one. Trey Lance is still with the 49ers. I was wondering if Justin Herbert was still in the league. Justin Fields just did there, but he's only a 76 overall. He hasn't done too much in his career. It looks like the rest of the guys have kind of retired at this point. So we've got to see, has Trevor Lawrence finally won himself a Super Bowl? Has he won an MVP? Has he finally produced better stats in the league? I mean, maybe all he needed was a change of scenery. Maybe he'll play as long as freaking Tom Brady has. But he is an 85 rated, which is still a quality quarterback. Might play for another two, three, four, five years in terms of Madden. Now, stats. You do better once he moved, and yes, he did, my dude. It looks like he finished out that contract with Jacksonville and then signed one more one-year deal and then went to the Rams and then the Chargers. So it looks like Trevor Lawrence loves himself some Los Angeles here. So that last year that we simulated was easily the worst of his entire career. Then it got better. I mean, he had a 23 touchdown, only four picks, 29 touchdowns, the eight picks, and then had a career high in terms of yardage. Just last season with 4,430 yards with the Chargers, but also threw a career high in interceptions with 21 to 31 touchdowns. A decent season last year with the Rams, but most importantly, we go down to awards. He did finally make a Pro Bowl. You don't know with what team it was, and he did win AFC Offensive Player of the Year in Week 10, I'm guessing this season. So this guy, like, he's had to have had a good career, bro. He's an X-Factor, was a 99 rated, but he's only made one Pro Bowl. It's like absolutely insane at this point. And I've got to see, though, did he end up winning the Super Bowl? Let me go back to league history here. We can see, looks like Trevor Lawrence, let's go, bro. It's just last season. Bro, I ended the simulation to absolute perfection. He beat the Patriots 45-42, so he actually has a Super Bowl MVP in his trophy cabinet. I don't know why they didn't show underneath his awards tab. Now, in 2034, the Lions won it. 2033, the Falcons won it. Maybe he won one with the Jags. It looks like the Ravens won another one with Lamar Jackson. I mean, Zach Wilson's had to have had five, six MVPs throughout his career. You know, Mac Jones won another Super Bowl. But at least Trevor Lawrence did get himself a Super Bowl ring. And I mean, that's obviously, if you win a Super Bowl, I don't necessarily think your career was a bust at all. He had a good career. He's a good player. Just never on the best of teams with the Jags. He had a great decision to move on to Los Angeles. Now, crazy enough, Trevor Lawrence's former team did win Super Bowl 71. He probably should have stayed with the Rams. But with the Chargers this season, they ended up going. Looks like they did not make the playoffs this season. They went 8-8. Eight eight. Trevor Lawrence is down to an 82 overall. But I'm assuming he hasn't retired yet. He was still on the team. So he probably can simulate, what, another two years? That's what we'll do. We'll sit until Trevor Lawrence is 40 and see if he's retired at that point. And boys, that's where things are going to be ending. We send two more seasons. It looks like Trevor Lawrence, he did retire into, I don't know, the retirement universe, I guess. But it looks like Zach Wilson, he's actually still in the league at this point with the Cowboys. He's had an incredible career, so I am excited to see that career simulation. If you guys do want to see that, like I said, 10,000 likes. Before we do enough things, I do want to check out really quick. Make sure he's not in free agency. And he actually is a free agent. So he hasn't retired, but nobody wants to sign him. 
So he's, he's probably gonna retire, right? We can at least view his player card here. We can't see his stats from last season. He's still a star development. Why didn't anybody sign you? Maybe if we simulate to the regular season, somebody will pick him up. Yeah, boys, more than likely he's gonna retire because normally when there's a situation like this and they don't get signed, they're just gonna retire. So I simulated the regular season. And I don't know why nobody's picking up a 78 rated quarterback. Like, what are you doing? Who is our quarterback? I might just sign them back. Oh, uh, we have Donald. I just now noticed this is completely irrelevant to what we're trying to accomplish here. But the Bills have made it to the Super Bowl. It looks like four out of the last five seasons this makes it. They have yet to win one. So I'm kind of actually sort of rooting for him here. I'm also expecting to see Trevor Lawrence retire after this game. It looks like the Bills finally get their Super Bowl win. Their fourth try the last five seasons. And they get it done by one point. Few 2038 retirement. Zach Wilson's gone. Has Trevor Lawrence left us yet? Where's Trevor? There he is. He's gone. Trevor Lawrence has retired after, I would say, a successful 19 seasons in the National Football League. Won a Super Bowl. Won a Super Bowl MVP. I mean, made a lot of money as well. Last thing we do got to check out. We go into statistics and look at NFL records. Did he break any records? It looks like he did. In his career with the Cardinals, apparently, and he did make, I'm assuming that's like the top 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He finished his career 10th all-time in terms of NFL passing yards, 65,000 passing touchdowns. Zach Wilson ends up with 660. Go for the most in NFL history, so his video is going to be so much fun. Mac Jones was up there, so was Justin Fields, but no Trevor Lords. About passing yards in a season, not quite. How about passing touchdowns in a season, not quite. But I think at the end of the day, I don't think you would label Trevor Lawrence a bust after all this. He won a Super Bowl. 